Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me. I ain't snitching on nobody. He dead. <laughs> I'm gonna take a vacation. Just really was a bump in my life, and uh, I made it over that bump. Now I'm just trying to enjoy my happiness. You know? Yeah, yeah. Well, congratulations. Boosie Hatch is, has been in gun charges for a 2023 arrest in San Diego, according to court records. Now, he was arrested back in June 2023 on a felon in possession of a firearm charges when officers first found two handguns in his car during a traffic stop. Now, those charges were dropped. A few weeks later, he was charged again with possession of a gun by a convicted felon and drug user for a separate incident. On Wednesday, Hatch posting on X that he felt blindsided by the indictment while on vacation with his family, claiming it was unfair that the indictment quote, again, on the same charge with another added. Rights in this case. So you said he was turning himself in today in San Diego. Is he is he going to have to be in custody? He is not turning himself in today. It's next week. So I think that's where I cut out. The, um, the government wanted him to self-surrender today. Um, that makes no sense. He was on bonds in his state case. He had no violations. He showed up to court. He showed up to court on time every time. He was on bond in his federal case, federal case hatch one um, for over a year. No violations. He showed up to court every single time. There were no issues whatsoever. Issuance of, of an arrest warrant in those circumstances, something I personally have never seen. Um, as you know, I was a federal prosecutor for a mm -hmm. long time before I started doing defense work. That is not something that I had seen as a prosecutor. It's not something I've seen as a defense attorney, uncalled for in this situation. Wow, hey, check it, man. It's your boy, CEO, man. Boosie, man, look, man, they, they ordering his surrender. They want him to turn himself in. And I just, I, you know, I talked about it a little bit uh, just a, a, a day or so ago, but you know, um, she says that he wasn't ordered to turn himself in immediately. At first, the lady had thought, you know, the, the interviewer had thought that he had said that, but no, um, uh, that she had said that. But what's interesting is I, I like uh, Boosie's choice of uh, his, the prosecution, uh, that the attorney that used to be a prosecutor that he, that he had, um, basically hired for this. She, ha she knows a way around. So he definitely, he paid a uh, good money for a great, great, uh, representation, but you know, uh, Boosie man, this thing here, I don't see it just fading away easy for him. Um, I, they act as if it's a walk in the park. And of course that's what she's supposed to do in public eye, but to reindict him and then say, Hey man, we need you to surrender. They really wanted him to surrender like now, you know, but he ends up staying out. She's saying that they're going to be able to bring him in here, you know, uh, next week. So Boosie, you can look for him to pretty much surrender next week. Uh, she's going to take him in more than likely. Uh, they're going to try to figure out a way for him not to have to stay locked up. But we really don't know when you're dealing with this magnitude of what uh, is happening now since they reindicted him. Now they added the fact that he's a drug user on there for some reason, like he was on drugs. So at the end of the day, we really don't know what this prosecution uh, is up to. You know, the prosecuting, uh, uh, it, it, evidently they built a case that they feel like they want to pursue on a federal level, but he, his, he has been ordered to surrender. He has been ordered to turn himself in. They're looking forward to getting him. Like I said, Man, this guy been catching it, man, for, to, to have beat the murder charges and all the stuff that he's already been through. Now to have to go right back into the face of this man is something that I didn't see coming. You know, basically, I thought he was going to, you know, just lay low. And now here we go again, going back down that road of memory lane of having to be locked up again if this stuff sticks. Like I said, she, as I showed earlier here, she was walking him out of court just the other day. And like I said, he, right after this, he went right and did a Vlad interview. Once he did that Vlad interview, the next day he was re-indicted. I don't know, it's just, and, and there's several people that have been indicted immediately after leaving Vlad for some reason. I don't know, maybe it's just the way he asking the question, but I know somebody who will give me an explanation on what they feel, man. OG Pyru, man, I've dialed him in. He's in the building. What's going on, OG? Hey, 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 what's, what's up? I, I, I hear you, I hear what you're saying. I concur with you 100%. And in California, it's not a law that just because you're on drugs, you can't have a gun. Well, just because you're black, you can't have a gun, period. But there's no statute, a drug 
offender with a in possession of a weapon they say and everybody that commits a crime in california is on drugs so that's uh but whenever a black man don't kiss the ring he's done something exceptional trying to take care of his family and they're trying to pull him in that's one of them carmela harris prosecutors that are trying to do this this california law man this is really crazy and for him like she said he's been uh, going to court, been on time, following all the instructions. Now, why they want him to turn it? Because now they're trying to lock every young black man up that's doing for their family. That's crazy. Let me ask you this, uh, OG, and, and for him, because when he went on Vlad, you know, and I, I won't run the, the the interview, but when he went, when he went on Vlad. Vlad opens up. He said, hey, the case is over. This is right after he walks out of court where I showed this here. Uh, you can openly talk about it. And then he asked him, so you had a gun? And he said, no, I, I allegedly I, ne I never had a gun. I never, you know, I, and, but it is over, you know, but he brought these questions up and you know how he asked his questions. So do you think and then even then he was maneuvering around it. But then it was some things that was said that kind of levied toward the fact of all this stuff happening. Do you feel like um, this oh, it could added be fuel, it added fuel to the fire? Yeah. Yeah. You know, because uh, uh, here you got one. They got one year, a year and a day to to bring on bring old charges up. And by them getting on these interviews with these cats. It, uh, Vlad, Cam Capone, uh, No Jumper, and they all them dudes as agents. They they work and they give you these entrapment questions and you ask answer them surfacely and it gives the DAs and and the feds enough fuel to to light your ass on fire. You know, uh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be held against you. So wow. we don't understand that. So. Like, yeah, he, yeah, because he went right to that to the Vlad interview, and like I said, the next day, the next day he was reindicted, but then he had flew out of the, the country, uh, uh, and and you know, like I said, this lady uh, lawyer that he got, I don't know her name, I'll have to look her name up, but she seems to be on top of it. I, I mean, I could look and you can tell she been around, she understands law, and mm -hmm. I'm, I mean, good God, like I, I really didn't know that that this would be something to where he would, I thought he had won it. When I spoke on this the other day, I'm like, man, he didn't want it. He was good now. I thought he was good. He, and then when I seen the Vlad thing, I'm like, why is he asking about this gun, man? You know, cause you, you don't even need to implicate yourself at this point anyway, period. You never know, they could bring something back. You know, you just never know. And the next day, boom, he gets indicted. I was like, damn, he re-indicted? This is crazy, man. So the one thing I can say is just crazy to me how, you know, they going after each one of these rappers, man, and these people that's out here doing this entertainment. And it's just yeah, something you got to be careful, man. What they're going through with uh, Young Thug. Now they didn't got a, 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 a Betty Crocker attorney or a white lady. She got a Southern draw. Oh, this get ready to take on. Do you think that, 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 do you think that, that Boosie, he'll be having, you think they'll let him back out this week when he turns himself in coming up th uh, next week? I mean, she she got it. She'll make she'll make the claim, but that's so crazy about uh, the federal statute here in California. Uh, once he going for a hearing, they lock him up. They don't his money don't mean nothing. They'll they'll uh, they'll remand him to custody, you know. Uh, so a uh, man, I hope for the best. But uh, she, uh, Boosie, the kitchen before the hanging. I would just go in. I'll send her in there, check the temperature out. <laughs> hey man, I agree with that 100%. OG, thank you for calling in, man. Hey man, listen, guys, make sure you like, subscribe to the channel, man. Boosie reindicted. What do you think will happen when he turn himself in? He's been called to say he's got to turn himself in next week. Do you guys think that they will let him back out or do you think they'll try to hold him? Let us know what you think in the comments, man. Like and subscribe to the channel. Hey, man, appreciate you guys tapping in the Boss Talk 101 reviews. Make sure you check out the interviews. Boss Talk 101, where the bosses talk. Bosses talk, man. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-Heat, the reason you see.